That was a look at how a local business is helping animals in need. Joining me right now is Crystal, and she herself is doing her part to help animals less fortunate. Crystal, tell us a little bit about your story. Um, well, I've uh, known about Street Cat Rescue for, oh gosh, about 15 years. Mm -hmm. um, I learned about them in 2000, I guess it was, so yes, 15 years. Yeah. Um, my husband had found a cat at uh, one of the malls here. Um, Linda had set up an um, adoption clinic, I guess, yes, and right. um, we did get our first cat back then through Street Cat. Oh, perfect. Now tell us a little bit about your newest addition to your family. Well, I recently adopted um, a beautiful black cat um, three weeks ago. Okay. Um, it's, uh, it's been, a, it was a little challenging at first. Cats are not like dogs. Um, right. They don't socialize in the same manner, mm -hmm. um, which is why I think the, the foster program is so important. Mm -hmm. um, I was able to go and visit the cat in a home environment and um, get a good sense of, you know, how it interacts with other animals and um, people mm -hmm. and to see if it liked me and I liked her and um, with patience and and just sort of allowing her to you know come into my home and um, come out at her own time it's it's going really good now so oh good I'm, I'm hoping she'll make an appearance but yes. I'm, I'm not sure <laughs> new people <laughs> yeah, that's it's right. only been three weeks so she's just still a little sensitive right absolutely and now that cat was fostered through scat street cat rescue is that correct it was okay. um, what's so great about that program is um, the volunteers that work with street cat they sort of they get to know every cat in the system and they post essentially a background a brief background in history what they know of these cats on their website mm -hmm. so you can sort of shop online for your cat mm -hmm and try and find a match um, and then you schedule an appointment to go visit the cat in that home environment to kind of do what I just said. Yeah. Um, the other thing you got to remember these are rescue cats mm -hmm. they're not surrenders so their backgrounds can be can be tough they've come from the street mm -hmm. um, conditions are challenging for them as well and uh, I think our, our fosters really put some put a lot of effort and time into rehabilitating them to prepare them for home life. That's a great point to make. And yes, like you mentioned, we are hanging out in your lovely home right now, joined by one of your other animals, Abby here, who is just the sweetest little puppy ever. I'm sure he, she's not a puppy, but all dogs to me are a bit of a puppy. <laughs> Abby's going to be 12. Oh, wow. <laughs> she is just so kind. So clearly you have a love for animals. I really do. I always have. Um, I grew up on a farm and uh, I was actually going through photos just at Thanksgiving at my folks and there wasn't a photo of me outside without cats at my feet or <laughs> cats with me going to the barn or playing badminton. There's just mm -hmm. always cats. Mm -hmm. um, so the more volunteers we can get to, to do fostering, the more cats we can get off the streets exactly. and through the program and into their forever homes. Um, I even asked when I adopted my my cat. I said to the gal, "Are you um, are you sad?" Mm -hmm. And she said, "I might cry a little when you leave when you leave with her, but um, it's okay because I'm going to help another one, and I already Aww. have him picked out, and I'm excited to get him in and uh, find him his forever home." So that's amazing. I should ask, what is your cat's name? Um, her name is Salem. Salem. Uh, but I'm okay. not sure that it's going to stick. It Fair enough. Doesn't seem to fit her personality? It, no, for some reason Zoe's been coming out. <laughs> oh, there you go. But she's pure black and Aww. she's uh, got the most beautiful golden eyes and she's just beautiful, so. Great, okay, well like Crystal mentioned, Salem is a little skittish around new people, uh, all a part of the socialization and the lack of socialization that a lot of these cats that come to scat have because they are rescue animals. Uh, so we're hopefully going to try and uh, get Salem on camera, but in the meantime, let's take a look at this week's Pause for Thought.